Hey guys, and welcome back to Hand of Fate 2! As always, I'm DemonFire93, and last time we took on the chariot with little success, we got our asses handed to us. And I died for the first time in this game. So we're gonna put in the two new cards that we got. And what do we want to take out? Let's take out the Fetched Fens. Put in one Drunken Knight. Take out the Borrow Burrow. What does, uh... May reveal encounters on current level. Eh. Not necessary. We found out what those did last time. And they weren't all that really useful. So, last time we had a lot of trouble with health and healing fruit with food in general. So, it will be good to uh, put in some cards in here that will give us some food. Hmm. What else could we put in? And we have one more encounter. Let's put in Elder's Gift. Why not? We've got all of our equipment. Uh, equipment. Uh, get rid of the Blinding Brew, because that's going to be pretty much useful, useless. Um... Every food gain card, sure. That'll help. And supplies! Let's get rid of the fine sword and put in some food. There we go, because we had that uh, card with the orphans or the children that needed eight food. And it's like, I didn't even do that and I was running around with zero food for a while. The only reason I survived was because I had the pious robes that made it so that instead of losing health, I was losing max health every single time I was starving. And I had 80 max health, so it was fine. Chariot is a symbol of control. So we know pretty Taking much how these work. The so we're just going to kind of rush through this at this point. To the chariot of your will. If you can do that, perhaps we can navigate these roads. Her desire, please give me. He that draws me a platinum equipment card. I get her desire. Yay, I gain eight fame. That's a great one. Okay. I guess we'll go here. One drunken night, you feel cold stone against your cheek. Head pounding, you open your bleary eyes. The un unmistakable scrape of metal wakes you fully from your slumber, and you slowly take stock of your surroundings. I'm in a maze for the goblins! I loved this last time, and I'm gonna love it again this time. I'm sure. Unless the traps are ridiculous. Those, those were actually pleasant the, the last time. It startles me every single time, but how do I get through these? Go ahead and assume I have to do that. Just roll through of them. Okay, so... Whoop. See Daisy. Don't mind me, just uh, sneaking on by. Whoa, that was a close one. There are spinning blade puzzle things. Sure. Who needs to run? Not me. Grab that, grab that. <clears throat> Ow. What is that thing? That's a big whirly magig. Whirly magoo. Whirly bird. Okay. I believe I've Come to another ow. An impasse, almost. What if I could just run through this island of traps here? Ow! Nope. Not really. Okay. Well, if that was everything, that was everything. And if not, well, it's good enough. Got food, got gold. If there was more chests. You win some, you lose some. That was fun. I love that. I'm going to keep that in. Probably. You fumble in your haversack for something to eat. Happily, you find a half-eaten pastry and try to find your way out of the woods. Okay. City streets. Drudge of corruption. Ambush them. Damn it. I was literally on it. Alright, I got one more chance. One more chance. One more chance. Come on. 
Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. And this time I was a little late. Holy darn. I know. Don't worry you though. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness. Ah, I lost my streak. It got me killed, and now I'm all flustered. <coughs> what? Where am I fighting? What the hell is this place? Town Square. Oh my god, there are so many corrupted. So many corrupted. Come on. Damn it. You broke my shield. Excuse you. Don't try it. Don't even try it. I'm gonna use a hope potion real quick. Really, Mal? You're down over there? What, what, what even went over there and killed you? Everything's focused over here. Back and forth and back and forth we go. Not anymore. Oh, Mal. What will we ever do with you? Alright. Got rid of all those bastards. City streets. Snow paths discovered. What the hell are you doing? Stop turning it around. I'm facing down. Jesus Christ. I'll buy some fruit. Ten fruit. Besides on a price of ten gold. Or thirty. I will pay Chester. Thirty damn gold for ten food. I'm leaving though, Chester. You can't sell me anything else. All your other shit is too pricey. Grateful citizens, they're grateful. And more things have been added. Grateful citizens, they're grateful. More food is available at the camps. Yeah, is it? There better be more food and not more fucking equipment. Grateful hero, they're grateful. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Bring it on! Can't lose them, so might as well. Let's go. Peasants become the cannon fodder. a waste. Ow, come on, really? Sorry, in the middle of something, can't quite hit me. Ow. I love switching back and forth to multiple enemies, it's so much fun. I was in the middle of doing my finishing move. Get him! Yeah! And they're all dead. Okay. Huh. 
We're in a bit of a rush now. Okay. And another card. Scouts! Okay. Yep. Caravan robbery. This caravan Sweet. is bound with spells that allow us to travel without arousing the attention of such as these. Uh huh. Got it. Got you your treasure map. Continue. Amidst the chaos, you find the wagon that Merrick has described. As the cartographer attempts to temper the horses, you sneak aboard and rifle through his papers and parchments. Tucked under a bottle of ale and a glittering silver ornament, you find it. The map of the Great Sands. You swing the sack over your shoulder and exit the carriage. Ooh. Right another. He adds one seal. Looking for that food. Okay, that works too. We'll deal with that 25 life. A caravan is filled with herbal remedies. The vendor, clearly a healer of sorts, you nab some burdock herb, a rare weed known for its healing properties, and place it in a sack. Raid another caravan. Na, 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 na. We'll gain another 10 life. Okay, I think it's time to leave at this point, cause... That should help. Yep, that should help. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna return to Merrick, the merchants, still reeling from the shock of your ambush, and with Imperial soldiers fast approaching, you make your escape. Away from the chaos, you check your spoils before continuing on your journey. I got a life potion. I got a worthless life potion. You find Merrick waiting where you left him. His eyes grow wide at the sight of the map in white. With a flourish, it disappears beneath his cloak. Tell no one of this, he says with a smile. Meet me at the edge of the sands in three nights' time. Sweet. See, usually this was the end. In, in the beta, that was the end of the quest line was the caravan. So it was just steal. Steal from every single caravan until you get caught. Or until you have enough that you don't need to. Oh, hi. Okay. Bring it on! Really wish I had my mace from last time, because... God, that was great. I was able to start working on that. Damn it, I was going for that success, and I was just a hair early. Because I needed to kill 50 corrupted. If I had... If I got that weapon now, I would probably just intentionally fail those because it's like why not I'll just go kill them and get the token for this thing 50 corrupted that's I mean, it's quite a lot but you know I could do it here's only five now Mal if you die with these five corrupted you really have some problems here buddy Honestly, if you can't survive, like, one of these guys attacking you for the time that we're fighting, you got a problem, Mal. Mal, you've got a problem. You've got a very big problem. Let me tell you, buddy. How can you be so weak, Mal? I love you for your wheel spins, but you're a terrible combatant. Just terrible. The only thing you're good for is being a shield. A bubble shield. Oh, look, I can now use Heart Desire. Nah. Okay. More streets. No path discovered. All right. That's everything, huh? Camp. Trade. Buy equipment. Okay. How much? They have 12 food remaining. We're just gonna leave that for now. Hope that they somehow get more in the next area. All right. Lots of stuffs. Attack the infected. Yes. And we will use one of the five. Guys, steel mates. My steel mates. 
Okay. We know how this goes by now. agree with, but the first one, not so much. Come on. Excuse me. Okay. Mal, again? Really, man? Nice. Ow. Really? I rolled right into that one. It doesn't have any health, it's just armor. So he has to bash it a bunch. Yeesh. Okay. Continuing on. Yep, 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 yep. Uh huh. Sure thing. Okay, Drudge of Corruption. Sure, why not? That's a lot of cards I just saw. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God. Patience. Do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. Yeah. That is a certainty. Okay. Here moves one, so we're still gonna have to at least fight. Late. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Keep practicing. I am trying. Four remaining. Sure. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. All right. So me, my. Two buddies and my buddy. That didn't last long at all. Mal, why are you just running right up to him? That's not a very bright move. Alright, all of the ones that can't be countered, other than the horror, or terror, have been dealt with. Ah, except for that one that's killing Mal right now. What the hell? Where'd you come from? Yeah. 
Oh, hi there. Really, Mal? How many times are we gonna do this today? Excuse you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on and die, and welcome to the die. Okay. The now cure. This, this tale ends. Oh, really? That that this is the end of it? Malaclipse's condition worsens on your journey back to the underneath. He must stop often for rest, and his usual chatty lute playing is replaced by a somber silence. Finally, you arrive at the familiar stone entrance by the lake, but the doorway is wide open, and the bespectacled ogre is lying in a pool of his own blue blood. That's not a good sign. The ogre wheezes, "Get away." I don't need that to deal with five skeletons. I know I didn't do much in character with that one. <laughs> the, the, the ogre wheezes, get away. He probably didn't say it like that, but hey, I was kind of in a little bit of a hurry. They just keep getting back up. Okay, they're all dead. Not a scratch on me, and they're all dead. Next fight. <coughs> there gonna be more inside? I bet there is. Oh, I misread that. She bows mockingly. Have you come to stop me from ending the lives of the little rats who scurry in the sinkhole? Demand to know who she is. Ask who sent her. Death Mage. She laughs a chilling, hollow sound. By many accounts, I am nobody, merely a killer for hire. She bows mockingly. Have you come to stop me from ending? Ask who she sent her. Why, the Empire, of course. The Necromancer steps closer, fiddling with her bone amulets. You really think you could waltz into an Empire fort and steal those precious maids' children away without th them noticing? There's an enticingly high price on your heads, and a high price on mage heads in general. Once I've taken yours, I'll descend into the underneath and collect every last one. She bows mockingly. Have you come? Okay, ask why she wants to kill those hiding in the underneath. Can you not feel the winds of time changing Malaclips of the Vale? The seers whisper of it. I've no intention of being on the wrong side of history, do you? Malaclips gr grimaces. You are on the wrong side of history, sister. The necromancer Panther smiles. History is penned by the victor's hedge mage. Now, she readies her staff. The emperor will, did not gift me lizardman bone dust to waste my time up here while I could be down there spilling mage blood. The necromancer raises her arms, and the undead crawl out of the earth to surround you. This is all you got? A death mage and seven skulls? Bitch, I could kill seven skeletons in my sleep! You, on the other hand, I don't know about you. Never heard of you, the death mage, bitch. Oh. <laughs> death mage revels in this land, tipping ever more into chaos. Use bash to break through their gruesome armor. That's a lot more than seven! Holy shit, that's a lot more than seven. Ow. Oh, hi, Mal. Could you these guys fuck right off? So much going on, can barely see what's happening. Oh, 
Now with all but one skeleton dead. Come out to play! It's just you, me, and Malaclips. Guess what? I can do a shield too, bitch! Your shield doesn't really do much when you're just standing there. You're just gonna stand here and let me beat the shit out of you until you die? Really? Oh, more! Didn't realize you were gonna bring up more skeletons. Alright. I can deal. Wish the targeting was a little bit better right now. Swing, 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 swing. This armor certainly takes quite a long time to to bash down. I gotta say. And then she raises the dead some more, and then another. Next! Bashy, 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 bashy. Are you just cowering in fear in there? Death mage. I was trying to constantly keep you from to using the power, so I was just uh, <laughs> kicking her preemptively. But no, it's just a pain in the ass. Lady, I'm gonna kill you. And there's nothing you can do about it. words? No, I guess not. Okay. So much for being on the winning side, huh, lady? Looks like you're on the losing side, because I'm penning history now! Suddenly, Malclips doubles over in pain, clutching his arm. Hire the cure! You carry Malaclips through the stone entrance into the underneath. He coughs blood onto his collar. A few steps into the tunnel, you meet Ira. She takes one glance at Malaclips' face and immediately understands. Malaclips is a, as pale as a sheet and his eyes are bloodshot. Ira, please, the potion. She weeps, oh, Mal, I have lied to you. Malaclips stares in horror, blood leaking from his mouth. What? What are you saying? She raises a hand and cups his face with the tenderness of a lover. The only cure is removal. The whole limb is infected, Mal. It has to go. Malclips begin to begins to sweat through his surcoat. He tears at the bindings of his sleeve to reveal the affliction spreading up his arm. A glowing green pustules can crust his hand and wrist. The extent of his affliction, now gruesomely apparent, he gives a strangled sigh and promptly passes out. Ira unsheaths a curved silver dagger from her belt and hands it to you. We don't have much time. I must fetch a blood-binding potion or he will simply bleed to death. Do not falter. If the corruption spreads to his neck, then he is lost. Then Ira hurries down into the underneath. You must remove the infected limb for him. The corruption is creeping quickly past his elbow. Oh shit, do I have to actually do this as a quick time? Or not a quick time event, but I mean like a chance time event. Success with wheel spins, or pendulum sp swinging, or dice gambits, or just shuffling a card, because that's not going to be good. God damn it, I gotta do. Okay. If ever there was a time that I needed to have this success. Son of a bitch. Okay. I just Green. barely got that, by you the way. Done well. Just barely. The surgical dagger is impossibly sharp. It cuts cleanly through Malaclips' arm, through tendon, muscle, and bone. Still, your friend does not move. You feel sick to your stomach as you desperately try to staunch the bleeding. At last, Ira arrives, potion in hand. Some days later, Malaclips comes too. He stares at the empty healing vials and jars and cura of curative salves that surround his sick bed and rasps for a flagon of wine. When he is well enough, through sorceries and blood magics, you don't quite understand. Malaclips is gifted with a new arm. 
Oh, this this universe where we can just regrow arms. That's lovely. No consequence for such things, except for, you know, actual, actual death. It glows bright green and is smooth and transparent like glass. Okay, that's awesome. Malekith flexes his new limb with a sad look on his face. Thank the gods the Empire isn't hunting mages right now, or this will be quite the beacon indeed. After a few more days fully supplied with wine and the disgusting cave berry cakes ubiquitous in the under underneath, you both trudge up the tunnel to the surface. Malaclips is silent as you walk. Ask about his arm. Ask about the corruption. Ask about the Empire. Ask what he's going to do now. Let's ask about the corruption. He grimaces. I made a terrible mistake. It was a plan concocted by a few desperate ones to stop the Empire from culling all of us, but it backfired horribly. Those who didn't die were infected, and he stopped himself from telling you something and pats you on the back instead. When you're older, I'll tell you the rest of the story. Ask about his arm. Malcolm flexes his newly glowing limb. It feels stiff and tingles painfully. Ask about the Empire. If it is true that the Emperor himself is consorting with mages to cull mages, then that is a rather flawed and terrifying plan. It may all be God's swallop, though. Necromancers are known to harbor big heads, unlike the smaller, more humble heads of regular mages like me. Ask what he's going to do now. I could have died. It's a funny thing to think about. Malclips runs his new hand across the surface of a powerful spellbook, a parting gift from Ira. I suppose, since it will be difficult to hide this beacon attached to my body, I'll have to abandon the bard disguise. You gain 12 fame. A thought suddenly crosses his mind. Except in taverns. Have you ever seen a maid successfully woo a pretty barmaiden? I haven't. Well done. Okay. The story of Malaclips comes to a close, I guess. But, you know, he's still gonna come with us and everything. We're not done with him! Burning rubble! Bastards!